Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul in case you're new here. We're here to get messages about your specific person, whoever came to mind first when you clicked on this video, whenever it found you. I'm pulling their current overall stance towards you and your connection. Then we'll get some channeled messages from them as well to see what they would have to say to you if they could. Be like completely open, honest, and transparent without holding anything back. Let's get a couple more cards out, you guys. All right, there we go. For some of you guys, this is your divine counterpart. Okay, could be your divine feminine for some of you guys out there. Or they identify you to be their divine feminine. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, this is for sure. You're probably, this is probably your twin flame. And bear with me, you guys. I am filming this in the morning. I am not a morning person. The caffeine has yet to kick in. So <laughs> I'm still waking up. Yeah, okay, so... Here's the scoop, you guys. Let me get these cards organized for you. This has been coming out in my pop-up readings a lot, as well as my um, car readings, okay? We have the turtle, the gazelle, the camel, the deer, the crow, and the fire ant. Okay, so first of all, two of the cards that I sometimes take as twin flame cards came out. It's the fire ant and the camel. The camel's kind of like a a yin yang energy as well confirmation divine counterparts and then this is the divine feminine card of the earth element in this deck so essentially what's going on with your person right now you guys is they're they're gearing up to tell you something really important for most of you out there this is going to be like almost a synopsis of their entire experience throughout your journey so it's not a small feat for your person they're thinking about kind of like explaining their understanding of your connection from start to finish. I wouldn't even be surprised if for some of you guys, they're writing this out almost like in a book format. Not like they're trying to publish a book, but you get what I mean. They're like typing it out. They're writing it out. Something where they would actually want to present this to you, almost like a presentation. Your person's kind of funny, you guys. Like they might be quite logical or that could just be how they do things. I don't know if they like, like to do PowerPoints or something like that. It's kind of goofy, you guys. I don't know what to say. Your person is thinking about the past, the present, and the potential future between the two of you. This is what is sparking them to want to do this. They feel like you have a right to know. For a lot of you guys out there, your person has not been very forthright about their thoughts, their feelings, or their experience throughout your journey, and something has changed within them. They want to talk to you about this maturely, and they feel like you have a right to know. They're being very disciplined with this, so again, very type A, very logical. They want to type this out. They want to publish it for you, not like as a book or anything like that. For, for some of you guys, they really are like typing this out or writing this for you. I don't know what's up, but they want to tell you their story, and they want to hear your side of the story as well. I feel Feel like for a lot of you guys out there they've been much more forthright about or um, you have been much more forthright about your experience and that is part of why your person believes that you have a right to know their side of the story because it might it might not match up the way that you perceived it to so they're getting ready to talk to you about this they're still a little bit nervous though like I didn't touch on that so much they are nervous uh, partially because it's been a while okay all right let's get couple messages from them now we have a few could be that there's been a lot of drama between the two of you and that's part of what is prompting this this person really desires peace in their life and they know that they need some type of closure before they're going to be able to call forth that peace like they need closure with your situation not that they want to just never talk to you again after they come and spill the beans because they are thinking about you in their future it's just that they want to have resolution about the past if that makes sense okay I'm a new man or woman, however it resonates for your situation, okay? They want you to know that too. That's part of why they want to come forward and be realsies with you, okay? No one stands, no one understands me but you. Yeah, that's part of it too. Like this person recognizes you to be their divine counterpart and they know that you guys mirror each other and that you get them better than anybody else ever has or ever could. So I'm gonna leave this reading here. If it resonated with you, don't forget to like and subscribe. Stick around for more. And you, my dear, go and have yourself a beautiful and blessed day. Bye for now.